Hi all and welcome back to my channel and today we are taking a look at something pretty special. On this channel I like to cover some really interesting gadgets, anything from folding phones to even robotic pool cleaners and today's product does not disappoint. In fact it's a product that's pretty much gotten me through the past week here in Australia because it has been freezing and if you didn't know our houses do not have much insulation over here so we need effective heating quite badly and underneath this cover is three, two, one. <laughs> the Suncos Sunshine Electric Heater. And wow, even just ignoring how impressive the technology is, that we will get to later, this is quite possibly the prettiest heater that I have ever seen. I absolutely love the Scandinavian design. It looks so sleek with a soft cream finish over the edges. It's got a lovely minimalistic mesh cover over the middle. It's got a gorgeous leather handle at the top. I mean, just look at that, it feels fantastic. And it's also got some very impressive looking graphics that we'll get to later as well. This is just something that will look very, very good and enhance basically any home. And that's not exactly something they could say with uh, most uh, portable-ish heaters like this one over here. And now let's take a look at the touch panel over here. Uh, to turn it on, all you have to do is press this button over here. And then it says, hi, in that beautiful animated font. It looks fantastic. You've got all your controls over here. It's pretty easy to use. And then to turn it off, you press this again and it says, wait for it, it says bye. I love these cute animations. It's just so fun and adds a little bit of joy into your daily routine. In fact, it reminds me a little of the Nothing Phone or the Hyundai Ionic 5 electric car, and they're both pretty cool. Beyond that, this heater is also extremely light, so you can just pick it up with uh, one finger or so, and you can take it from room to room. Uh, that definitely is pretty cool. But obviously, it is far more than just that, because not only does it look cool, but it's got some innovative technology as well. The Suncost Sunshine heater uses something called far infrared heating, and the company claims that it's the first electric heater in the world to use this far infrared heating technology on a large scale heater. Now, infrared heaters do have their unique benefits. The far infrared spectrum, which is between 3 to 15 microns, means that the heat it produces, while invisible, feels like the warmth that comes from the sun, hence the name sunshine. Uh, and it also sort of feels like that you're basking outside on a summer's day, but without the damaging UV rays, obviously. So of course, describes the experience as being like opening a window and feeling the cozy warmth of the sunshine in your room. And I do have to agree with that claim. Uh, with no wind, visible light, or sound emitted, it really just goes beyond your traditional fan or oil heater, while also reduces your energy waste by 50%. Another the result to this technology is that infrared doesn't rely on moving air to deliver heat, rather the rays gently penetrate your skin and the result is that not only does it feel like sunshine, but it also doesn't result in your skin drying out, so it promotes healthier skin. So to use a heater, you bring it into your room, you make sure that there's space both beside and also on top of it because it can get a little bit hot, especially on the top, and that means that unfortunately you can't hang this particular model off the wall at least, and then you turn it on. And in just three seconds, it's able to reach the maximum temperature. That's up to 40 times faster than some traditional heaters. You can select from three temperature modes. Um, P1 over here is 750 watts, P2 is 1050 watts, and then P3 the maximum is 1500 watts. In P3, the heat really does feel quite powerful and it's able to quickly create a two square meter heat zone um, around the device. What's really great is the lack of any wind. So let's compare this experience to a traditional fan heater. So let's see how loud this traditional fan heater is. As we can see, it's roughly 60 decibels. And while that isn't loud, it uh, definitely is a little bit intrusive. And um, we can also see that there is a fair bit of wind um, being created. And now let's compare that to the Suncos. Let's turn it to its maximum setting. And as we can see, there's no wind being created whatsoever. This tissue is as still as I want it to be. And let's compare the volume as well. Roughly 35 decibels is the room tone of this space. So if it stays around 35, it means that it's silent. Around 35 decibels, that is basically silent. 
and because there's no moving air to note, this is just going to feel especially good after a bath or shower. The skin's going to remain hydrated and warm and not dry out and crack like it does with some other heaters. This really does feel like a brand new heating experience, but obviously it's not a dumb heater because it's smart as well, so it doesn't have to remain on full blast all the time unnecessarily so. If you press this button over here, in this mode the Suncost will automatically adapt its power thermostat in response to its ambient conditions to save you even more power, and also to help keep a consistent temperature, a bit like the climate control in your car or perhaps even your Home. but it gets even smarter than that because it also connects to your phone or Alexa. For example, hey Alexa, turn my heater off. Okay. And it's off. Now let's try turning it on. Hey Alexa, turn my heater on. Okay. And it turns on. Within Amazon Alexa, you can also uh, change the temperature like so. And you can even turn it on automatically depending on uh, what routine you have. If you prefer not to use Alexa, you can also use the uh, built-in Smart Life app. Uh, through over here, you can adjust the temperature uh, quite easily as well. You can turn it on and off and you can adjust the mode too. So let's put it back in focus heat and we can adjust the power levels like we did before. We can set the child lock, which is very interesting, and we can even put it in sleep mode. And if you are worried about safety, don't be, because if it detects that it's going to overheat or if it's been tipped over, it will automatically turn off. Honestly, this is the best heater I've used and I would recommend it for just about anybody, especially if you are in the Northern Hemisphere and the colder months are about to arrive. So to check it out, you can find the Suncost Sunshine Heater through the link in my bio. And on that note, toodaloo.